today we're going to be looking at the math and learning pack we are looking at week six day two which is tuesday's lesson and this lesson is all about formulas we haven't actually covered this in year five yet that's why i'm making this video just to help you through the lesson so for starters then before we get started what is a formula it's a group of mathematical symbols and numbers that show you how to work something out so for example if we we're going to write a formula for the area of this rectangle we know that to find the area, you have to times the length by the width. So we could write this formula as A, which is area, equals L for the length times the width. This would be the formula for working out the area of a rectangle. And for the square, we could do the same. We know that to find the area, we have to times the side by the side, but these sides both have the same value. So it would be A area equals side times side or side squared. This is when you multiply the same number together. So we know that squares have the same length sides, side times sides are the same as side squared. Finally, we're going to have a little look at bod mass here. This is the order of mathematical operations. When you have a formula, this is the operation you need to complete first in this order. So the first thing we always look at is the brackets. Then we look at the orders or the powers as we call them. Then we look at division, then multiplication, then addition, and finally subtraction. Question eight first. It says Shadja is making a shape sequence using matchsticks, which is shown in the table below. N stands for the shape number, which is the shape's position in the sequence. M stands for the number of matchsticks used to make the shape. Okay, let's do some highlighting there. So we know that N stands for the shape number, M stands for the number of matchsticks. Shadji uses the formula below to find the number of matchsticks match needed for a shape. So the formula is M equals four times N plus one. And we want to know how many matchsticks are needed to make shape nine. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to test this formula out with the numbers we have in the table already to see if it works. So M, which is the number of matchsticks, equals four times N, which is the shape number, and plus one. So for the first numbers in the sequence, M would be five. So it would be five equals four times N, which is the shape number, which is one, plus one. So if we go back up to bod mass here and look at our order of operations, the first thing we know we need to work out is the brackets. So it would be five equals four times one, which is four plus one. Finally, five equals Five. So we know this formula is correct. The question is asking us to, to work out how many matchsticks are needed in shape number nine. So if we're looking at shape number nine in the sequence, we know that this must be N. So N is the same as nine in this instance. So if we write the formula out, including the number nine, it would be M, which is the number of matchsticks we want to work out, equals four times nine, as nine is the number in the sequence, or the shape number, plus one. Again, look back at our bod mass. We know that we need to work out the brackets first. So M would equal four times nine, which is 36, add one. Therefore, M, the number of matchsticks, in sequence 9 would be 36, add 1, which is 37. So there would be 37 matchsticks in 
shape number nine. Now for the last part of this question, it says, what is the shape number? So this time we're not looking at the number of matchsticks, we're looking at the shape number. What is the shape number of the shape that uses 21 matchsticks? We know that the number of matchsticks is M and the shape number is N. So we are looking for N in this sequence, but we already have the value of M. There are 21 matchsticks. So in this instance, M is going to be worth 21. So that's going to take this away. So M is 21 in this instance. So we've got 21 equals four times n, because we don't know the number in the sequence, plus one. This is where it gets a little bit tricky because we need to do some rearranging of the equation to work out the value of n. Using bond mass, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify what's inside the brackets to make the equation easier to work out. So it's going to be the same as 21 equals 4n, which is the same as 4 times n, plus 1. One thing you need to remember when rearranging an equation, if you take a part of the equation from one side and move it across the equal sign onto the other sign, the operation changes, you do the opposite. So for example, if I was going to take this plus one here and put it onto the other side of the equals, it would become a minus one. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna take this plus one and take it over here. So 21 take away one equals four n. Therefore, 20 equals 4n. Now we need to work out what n equals. 4n is the same as 4 times n. So 4 times n is the same as 20. Therefore, to find the value of n, we need to take this multiply by 4, put it onto the other side of the equation, and it becomes divide by 4. So 20 divided by 4 equals n. And we should all know that 20 divided by 4 is 5. Therefore, the value of n is 5. And shape 5 would use 21 matchsticks. To check this, all you would need to do is include 5 in the original formula and 21. So we know that m is 21 and n is 5. So 21 is the same as or equal to 4 times 5 add 1. 4 times 5 is 20. 20 add 1 is 21. 21 is the same as 21. We know that the answer is correct.